Hey guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWplans.com on Instagram, ERW underscore plans, and on Etsy, ERWplans.etsy.com. Today, in this second video, I'm going to show you the difference between a dated and undated Amplify Planner. This video is actually going to be quite a bit shorter than the other video that went live today about the Passion Planner. Not only because there are fewer options uh, as far as Amplify Planner is concerned, but because they are exceptionally similar. In the, I'll just open this up here. The undated, First of all, one of your main differences is that it comes with these little stickers so that you can date your undated. Unlike the Passion Planners clear stickers, these seem to be like a matte finish. They are not glossy um, and they are designed to specifically to fit the Amplify Planner, whereas the redating kit that Passion Planner just launched is designed to fit all three planners so they can be a little, uh, a little wonky when you're trying to fit them. Uh, just so you know, it does not come with this bookmark here. Bookmark separate. I just left mine in. So let me get that out. It does come with the redating stickers, though. So there's that. Um, so here we have dated, undated. Tabs are undated on the undated. Tabs are have the months on the dated. Uh, Amplify comes in three month planners um, because they have a, in addition to the fairly abbreviated opening, they also have, yeah, you only have like, you get the holidays, you get the annual, you get your special dates and your goal setting. And then we get right into the months. Since I already did a kit in my July, I will show you my August. As you can see, it's basically the exact same month. The only difference in the setup is that this one has the months in it, this one doesn't. So you can start this at any time. Just so you can see that there for comparison. Monthly, undated. Monthly, undated. When you get to your weeklies, the very next page on both the dated and undated is your first week of your weeklies. Um, again, no dates, so you can start it any day of the week, you can start it any week of the year, but otherwise it's the exact same layout. Flip it over and again, same layout. You have your blank dot grid and then you have seven blank days of the week, blank dated, blank dated, same, just goes all the way through for seven days. And then after seven days, you get a new blank week, or in this case, a new dated week. The main difference is that there are, it varies how many weeks are in a month between these two. Uh, the undated has five weeks per month. The dated has four to five weeks per month, depending on which month it is. Um, so for example, August had one, two, three, four weeks. And then you get to September, and the first week of September starts on August 30th. This one has five weeks per month, so you're always going to have a five weeks in there. So you can have your week start, stop, or whatever you want as far as your month is concerned. A bit more flexibility there. Otherwise, you get your three monthly tabs, 
15 weeks total. And then you have your blank dot grid page at the page at the back. I believe there are 10 of them. And then yeah, you have your double pocket at the back that you can put your little pocket calendar into. Etc. So basically this undated and this dated are exceptionally similar. You have fewer color choices in the undated. There's currently uh, three. I believe it's a teal, violet, this is the violet, and the charcoal. Um, there are usually four colors plus charcoal for the dateds that change every quarter. So that's really your big difference and the freedom to start and stop this whenever you want. Um, so if you're, it, I, I saw some people asking for an academic Amplify. I don't get it because you can start this in August or you can start this in July. You can start this whatever month you want. And then you can have your first week be whatever week your school starts. So, or your daily be whatever day your school starts. So this really is the function of an academic planner. Um, I'd also point out that this one starting in July, you can just start your July one as an academic planner. Um, I also see people sometimes ask about Amplify having an annual planner that was would basically be the Amplify planners monthly, weekly, and daily spreads like this as either an undated or a calendar year dated. I just want to show you this because every time I see that question come up, I'm like, are you kidding me? This is two months or two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. I've only lightly stickered these two quarters. The, the two obviously are unstickered. I cannot imagine, this would be how thick one annual was. Now let's compare this to an annual passion planner. Which do you want to carry around? Something this thin? or something that's thicker than Ulysses, because um, I have a copy of Ulysses. I checked this, this is twice the thickness. So, and like I said, that's without heavy stickering. These, I stickered the months only. These didn't get stickered at all. Can you imagine if you sticker these every single day, every single page, how are you gonna carry this? This is huge. So no, there isn't a giant annual Amplify that has all 12 months and all 52 weeks and all 365 days because literally, no, I'm sorry, this is ridiculous. You can't carry that, you just can't. Even if it was the A5 size, it's still gonna be at least this thick. That's just, you're very, you people are very silly. That's all I gotta say. There is the difference between the quarterly dated and the undated quarterly Amplify planners. As always, thank you guys so much for watching um, and putting up with my ridiculous little rants. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, please make sure to leave a comment, and please make sure to share this. Uh, we go live every Wednesday at 7 a.m. Mountain Time. Sometimes, like today, we have two videos drop within a half hour of each other. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see the next video, the best way to make sure you're notified when we have a double drop like this is to subscribe to the channel. Um, as mentioned in the past, there is no sponsored content. Every single planner I buy is comes out of my own pocket. Um, so if you enjoy these videos and you would like to support new videos where we get to try new types of planners, new stickers, new tools, please make sure to join the Patreon, patreon.com slash ERW plans. Patreon levels start at a dollar per month. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and stick around for the next video.